Uh, it is a good perfect. wind for taking yep. this. I like down. having good wind. Yes. <laughs> Passing wind is good. <laughs> Today on In the Woodyard, we got a tree that's got to go down and it's going to hit Tony's shed. And you don't want that to happen. Oh, no. <laughs> no way. Okay, so I am at Tony's today, and this is his nice shed that he has. That's a heated shed, and it has all of his toys in it, and he does not want his shed hurt. So <laughs> um, this actually is on his neighbor's property, correct? Correct. Um, because the property line is like right about here, and these two trees are leaning over his shed. And not only do they drop tons of leaves into your shed, he but does branches, too. branches, and they are dying. They are oaks, and yes. they're going to get oak wilt, and they're going to go down. So. Today's plan is I'm going to kind of just pan up so you can see here how this tree, it's got a real heavy lean going over towards the shed. And uh, we're going to drop it where I'm standing this way. So it's leaning towards the shed and towards Tony right now, but we're going to drop it through this hole here. The problem is, is that it's going to want to go that way. So Tony has a new tool that we're going to use. Why don't you tell me what you've got? Well, um... We did the old fashioned, uh, you'll show the viewers the. Ooh, you missed it by a hair. Not even close. Oh my God. Not even close. That was just a warm up. Uh, way we threw up uh, one of the launch uh, packs that we had, yep. the little launchers, and uh -huh. we didn't do very well. No, yeah. So uh, I've been looking at. Uh, um, getting something else that would help us out right, right. and uh, so far I've used it at least a dozen times and it's pretty decent yeah and I've, I've tied you know a, a rock you know with a rope and thrown it and you know you lose it and that's exactly I've it, done so. all kinds of things trying to get um, a rope pulled up into a tree so we could attach it up to pull it exactly. now um, so you got a new tool we're gonna use we'll show you that in just a little bit now the reason we're doing this today number one is that we're both here and if you notice it's snowing out and the wind is blowing really hard that direction which is perfect, perfect. for today yeah Absolutely it is a good perfect. wind for taking yeah. this I like down. having good wind yes <laughs> passing wind is good <laughs> so let's go look at the toy so we are in Tony's heated warm shed. What size is your shed? How many feet by how many feet? Uh, 36 by 54. I'm very jealous. It is really nice in here. We're not gonna show you everything because he's got stuff. So here we are. We've got his new tool here. So show me what you've got that we used before. Well, firstly, last time we did a hand toss to try to get mm -hmm. it on in a tree. And we use these bags that I made, mm -hmm. and basically they work. Yeah, but two we different both, sizes. We both have bad shoulders exactly. and, and puss arms. Neither of us were pitchers, so exactly. we we weren't good at it. True. And then you have this. Right. Uh, <laughs> that's just a little bit less weight, so it'll travel further. But what I found was I needed to get higher, mm -hmm. and um, ironically, I've been looking at this. Tool. It's called uh, Big Shot by Notch, mm -hmm. and it's just a big slingshot. Giant slingshot. That's giant slingshot. The thing every big boy would like to have. Exactly. <laughs> and ironically, after the segment that we did, mm -hmm. one of your viewers, Dudley Carlson, yeah. contacted you and said, Hey, <laughs> you, you know, this. I'm <laughs> doing tree lines, and this tool really saves yeah. me. Yeah. This gentleman's 81 years old, and he's still doing firewood. Yeah. That's well, what I, we inspired I, and, and, him. And I saw this product actually on a foreign channel. I think it was either Finland or one of the European, Norwegian-type countries. That, that Somebody had this, and they also had um, the jack uh -huh. that you had. They had that, because they were in a corner. There was a house, and they had a tree right up in a corner, and so they used a slingshot to pull a rope. To it and then they hooked it up to jack. a vehicle and they so they jacked it and they put a rope up on top so i mean it was it had to go because it was leaning into the house into a v well you know what in a corner that's so, exactly what that's we're going to be doing today gonna do. too we're going to be using the jack because i want to be double secure that this doesn't come. i'd rather be triple triple okay <laughs> yeah triple dog dare okay <laughs> so this is a two-piece section It'll get out of the camera a little bit anyways. It's but a two-piece it section, right. and basically, this does not, it comes with the head the, and the two poles. That's okay. the way the notch. So you don't get any weight with it. You don't get anything, yeah. Okay. Um, there is another item that you can buy, and that's a trigger here. Oh. And I've heard reviews on it, and I was, 
I wanted to try it before I bought the, the trigger, mm -hmm. but so far I've been very impressed with how this shoots. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. So cool. you're looking, the cost on this is about $145 for the two fiberglass poles. Mm -hmm. It's not for everyone, but I found that since I purchased it, I've probably used it over a dozen times to right. help me uh, rope off a tree. Yeah, well, if you're going to take down trees in situations where, you, you know, whether you're by a building or you're just in a woods where you don't want them to get hung up, mm -hmm. I can see where getting, you know, the higher up you get with your rope, the more leverage you're going to have. That's so you it. can pull it better. So and that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to use your tractor to eventually pull to it. pull it, right, yeah. Right. And normally, I was only taking trees down that were on the ground. Mm -hmm. But lately, everyone says, can you do this? And I kind of look at it first and see if it's safe, mm -hmm. and I give it a try. And you can use different, these, uh, this is a separate device, uh, this and this. We were using just standard mason line. Mm -hmm. It's very thin, it's nylon. So we would tie it onto the ball or tie it on to one of the bags. Mm -hmm. And it worked okay for lower. Um, but when you start using the slingshot, these come from eight ounces. This one's 15. It's a little too heavy, but it's okay, you know. That's made by Forrester as a brand? Uh, Forrester is the- And is it lead shot in there? I don't know what, I would assume it is, but I don't yeah, know. Got, yeah, it feels like it, it's yes, lead, lead shot. Yeah, it definitely is yeah. ladder steel, one of the two. But, but yeah, this it's... is the difference, too, between this line and this line. This is what they refer to it as a slick line, mm -hmm. and it really makes a difference when you put it slides. into it. It slides mm -hmm. real easily, mm -hmm. yeah. So you attach this onto here with just a standard little loop. Now put it through there, very easy. Oh, you loop itself. Yep, got it. Yep, loop itself. That's nice. And then you just put it in the put slingshot. Put it in the shot and shoot. Shoot, yeah. Cool. So we'll give this a try outside here momentarily. But uh, uh, you can get, like I said, this is a 15. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way down to an 8 ounce. And the lighter the uh, sack, the further it'll throw. <laughs> So there's the tree and we want to shoot up into that crotch. That's the plan, but that's 35 feet up or so, right? At <laughs> it's least. a ways up. So here's your toy. And uh, so just give me, a, give me a little show about, you know, how you put your foot and how you hold it. And well, what I found is I load the bag inside the pocket here. Yep. Then I kneel down and I take aim and then just let it go. Okay. So, and it's pretty darn accurate, you said? Well, reasonably. It's <laughs> yeah. a, it's operator error, you know, <laughs> yeah. 90% of yeah, it. Yeah, you need a but scope. We'll give it, you yeah, need a scope on it. That's it. <laughs> okay, so, so let's give so it in a other words, try. you got your bucket full of all your slippery rope. Yep, and mm -hmm. you want to make sure that the Y is pointed downward. Got it, got it, so okay. So you just set that in. Pull back and let her fire. Yeah. Put your sack in the holder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? I was born ready. Let's see what you got. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! First shot! There it is, the line is through the crotch. First shot! <laughs> I told you it's good. That was awesome. Very first try. Pretty Unbelievable. Impressive. And really, we didn't do multiple, multiple takes. takes. That was it. First shot. And that's 35, 40 feet up there, yep. folks. Incredible. It, it is a cool tool. Wow. That's impressive. Yep. <laughs> that is really impressive. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right, Chris. We made the crotch. <laughs> you, shot your, the... you shot your sack through the crotch, so that's I good. Shot, yep. <laughs> uh, so now all we're going to do is put the rope on here, take carabiner off here. There we go. 
Okay. And that's all you do, just like that. That's, that's it. Just uh. And what happens is, um, when this gets up there, if it gets tight, when you pull it, it can flip right over. Right, right. So. But you better be wearing gloves because this slick stuff is pretty sharp. Oh, really? Well, it can definitely give you a rope burn. Oh yeah, you got a branch there. You're good. Get that around there. There you go. Slicker and greased all dung. I know. All right, Chris. Hide a bowline on there. And we're just going to put our carabiner over it. Over our line. Lock it in. And just pull it up. We're probably going to bust some branches. Yeah, you're going to have, all, you have all kinds of stuff happening there. Yeah. And as we're pulling the trailer, or with the tractor, it's going to even break some more. Oh, yeah. All right. So, the tractor's going to have to do the rest yep. of it. Yep, yep. That's a bad thing about having those branches going as high as we did. But That's it. It'll snap off. Once it gets tight, that's all that matters. Yep. He's just a swaying. It's pretty good and tight now. All right. Let's see what you got. See if you can nail this one. Oh! Is it through? Yes, it, it did. Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, it ricocheted back, but it's around the back of the branch, so you're good. Yep, you're good. Not too shabby for an old guy. I know. <laughs> this. All right, here's the second one, Chris. So show me that knot again that you're going to do and how you're going to put it on there. That's Basically, it's just the standard loop. You go over. So you're just sticking it through. That's it, right and there. Tighten it. Awesome. And we just tighten her up. Very good. We got really good wind now. Yes. <laughs> Which is terrible for sitting in a tree deer hunting. Oh, <laughs> I agree. Okay. 
Looks like you're gonna get caught here. Yeah, get pull that. that. Oh, I see it's caught on that. Yeah, or he's got a little bitty branch you gotta break off there. You get it past that high, there you go, that should be good now. You can get that one broke off up there. Success. So the rope is hooked up to the tractor and we're gonna walk up to the tree now. We got the tractor way back out over this way. We're probably over a hundred feet away, right? Yeah. And uh, we've got a little tension on it, but not, not like it's ready to go. But then we tied off some safety ropes off to the side so that just in case, because uh, there's several things we have to consider here. <laughs> Very yeah. much so. So we tied off some safety ropes. We got a rope over to this tree right over here that goes up to the top. And then we got that one pulling it there. So the only thing it can do is swing away this direction because we do not want it to go that way at all. And it is leaning heavy that way. So that's what's gonna happen. So we got all that prep work done and we're out of time, aren't we? That's it. So tomorrow, guess what you guys have to do? Hey. We have to wait until tomorrow? Yes, you gotta wait until tomorrow to cut the tree down because okay. we're out of time for today. So we're gonna cut the tree down on tomorrow's video. We're yes. actually gonna do it right now. <laughs> we're gonna see it tomorrow because we already got a long enough segment just putting this all together and talking about the slingshot and all that. So in tomorrow's video, the tree is gonna go down. So we're gonna, we're gonna cut a notch and we're gonna hinge it so that it goes that direction. Yep. And then we're gonna cut it up. So come on back tomorrow and we're gonna cut a tree down. Between now and tomorrow, when you come back, Get outside and get cutting. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.